What's up, y'all? This is August C. Jones here, and I am bringing to you on my YouTube channel a new set of videos that are basically just going to be me talking about certain topics and stuff. It's nothing new, but it's going to be called Let's Talk, and I'm just going to be picking one subject and just talking about it. And since you clicked on this video, you know exactly what I'm going to be talking about, so let's go ahead and discuss this thing so wwe network will be moving to peacock tv streaming service and so starting march 18th wwe network will be migrated and absorbed into peacock tv streaming service uh with a one billion dollar deal that spans over a five year period but this is only for the u.s outside the u.s the WWE Network will still function as its own separate streaming service. And Peacock TV will be the exclusive home for all things WWE, but that's just really in the U.S. Outside the U.S., the WWE Network will still function as its own separate streaming service like it has been ever since it started seven years ago. And along with this move, it will bring over 17,000 hours of WWE content, old and new, original programming, as well as the live events from Raw, SmackDown, NXT, 205 Live, and all that stuff, as well as the other live pay-per-view events from uh, SummerSlam to Survivor Series, Hell in a Cell, and even the biggest event of the year, WrestleMania. And this will all be at no additional cost, unlike the UFC deal with ESPN, where they will house the pay-per-view events, but you still have to pay a healthy price for it. With Peacock TV, you don't pay anything extra for these pay-per-view events, just like you do with the WWE Network. And this is the next step within WWE and Universal's relationship, which spans over 30 years. Like, that's crazy to even think that they have been having a business relationship for almost as long as I've been living. And if you're not a subscriber to Peacock TV, they do have three different tiers. Of course, they have a free tier where you are you know, have access to limited programming, but then they also have a premium tier to where you have access to everything that they got, but you have to deal with ads. And then there is the premium plus where you get to have access to everything that they have with no ads. And the premium tier will go for $4.99 and the premium plus will go for $9.99. So the premium plus is the same price that you would pay for the WWE Network right now so I mean however you look at it you're still getting a deal and for anybody who has Peacock TV they kind of have the same thing going on with it that WWE Network has they have their on demand stuff as well as they have a channel where they're playing 24-7 just different things or whatever and literally they're just going to migrate it over to Peacock TV where WWE is going to have its own 24-7 wrestling channel where they're constantly playing stuff for the WWE WWE Network as well as of course the on-demand content and also after their live shows like Monday Night Raw, Friday Night Smackdown and NXT air on regular TV they will become available on Peacock so I mean that's actually pretty cool but I don't know if it's going to be the whole program or if it's going to be a dumbed down version like Hulu has hopefully it's the whole program that way they have something different from what Hulu presents and starting next year they will be releasing and one documentary from the WWE Network each year. So more than likely, it may end up being something similar to what they did last year with The Undertaker and The Last Ride, how they did the docu-series, or it may just end up being a documentary type movie that they're gonna put out so whatever it is i'm game and just to know that they don't have exclusive rights to the pay-per-view events so if you want to go old school and for some reason want to go the traditional route of getting the pay-per-view events you can but i would kind of stray against that since this is a way better deal and in a sense, I guess you can feel like you're getting it for free because in a sense, you're basically getting a steal. And this comes at a time where Peacock uh, reported last year around the end of October that they had close to 22 million subscribers when the WWE can barely manage 1.6 because it fluctuates. So I, I feel like WWE is basically getting more of a bigger deal out of this than Universal is. And I've also read that they will not have any rewind or pause button on the live events like the uh, pay-per-view events. 
and it kind of sucks so if you're coming in late and you want to rewind it back you won't be able to do that you have to watch it as is or if you want to leave the room go to use the bathroom get you something to eat or go to the store or whatever and you don't want to miss any of the action you can't pause it so uh, those kind of suck hopefully they will fix that or make it become available because it is available on the wwe network right now and it is like a helpful tool so hopefully hopefully we won't have to deal with that and one of the questions will be is it going to be hard to find stuff i mean with the wwe network it's everything on there is wrestling orientated so more than likely you're going to have an easier time navigating through it and finding what you need but with it going to peacock you're going to have that plus a whole plethora of different content and everything else so is it going to be easy to navigate to the WWE Network and find the wrestling stuff or would you have to just go through hoops and all this stuff just to find what you're looking for so hopefully they make it easy for us to navigate through it to find what we need because I feel like if they don't do it then it's going to be a major problem with people who are really heavy into watching the product and content on the WWE Network right now you know it's just it's going to be a big thing it's going to be a big drawback from um, just uh, you know the deal that they have but hopefully it is something that won't be a problem and also this is a huge financial gain for both WWE and Universal just for the simple fact of the library that WWE provides to Universal and WWE may end up finding new fans because they are on Universal and that anybody who has Peacock may end up coming across this program that's from wwe and may end up liking it and getting back into wrestling or getting into wrestling and vice versa people that are wrestling fans may not end up watching the office or different shows that they might have on there or movies they might find themselves on peacock more often than just watching the pay-per-view events or anything that's wwe orientated so in a sense they both kind of get something out of it and i already have peacock and i really don't watch a lot of stuff on there i only watch a few shows or whatever and that's just really kind of like background noise or just something to enjoy but with them having wwe network on there hopefully it's just it's they make it seem like it's gonna be an easy transition so where if you have peacock already in the wwe network like i do that you won't have to go through a complicated step to kind of like you know do it it's like you already have it available to you go get it and if you don't have it already i mean go get it <laughs> you know so, I mean, with the premium, you're only paying $4.99 a month. I mean, it's nothing. I mean, if you don't mind uh, commercials, it's really nothing too crazy. So, I mean, there's really nothing preventing you from getting it. And then if even if you go $9.99, if you already pay for the WWE Network, you're paying the same price. So, I mean, it's it really, it's a no-brainer. If you're a big WWE fan and you want to continue watching the pay-per-view events and everything else... Why not get Peacock so that you can continue that? I mean, it's nothing. I don't see anybody getting angry over it unless, you know, like I stated before, certain things aren't accessible and certain things that they might not, you know, have available that they would have available, whether it's the functions or, you know, content on the WWE Network on Peacock. I, can, I can't really see no other way that they would be mad. You know, like, oh, it's on Peacock. What's Peacock? Blah, blah, blah. It's just, it, it's a no-brainer. If you like WWE, you like their content, you want to watch their pay-per-view events and everything else, especially want to watch WrestleMania, you know, go ahead and get Peacock. It doesn't cost you that much. And, yeah, I mean, that's really all I got to say about it. I feel like it's just more of a big gain, you know, for WWE. It's a smart business deal. They've already been in business for a long time. So it's like, this is just kind of a no-brainer. I mean, it's going to work out for both of them. Both of them are benefiting from that thing. And WWE just keep getting money thrown at them for some reason, even though... <laughs> you know their product may not be the best you know they still getting billions of dollars from here and there and everywhere so um i mean i'm excited i'm i'm curious to see how all this is going to work out how everything is going to function it kind of sucks about the whole rewinding and pausing thing because i do that a lot especially if i'm on the go and i'm trying to watch it or whatnot but hey we'll see what happens when it happens and those are my thoughts this is the first Let's Talk 
We were talking about the WWE Network. Uh, like, thank you guys for joining me. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I have other ideas I'm going to be doing for Let's Talk. I don't know how often I'm going to be doing this. I kind of have a schedule in my mind. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do so it because I have a lot of stuff that I want to do for my YouTube channel, especially since I've been away for so damn long. But, uh, yeah, like I said, if you like this, go ahead and leave a comment. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Uh, and go ahead and ring that notification bell so that you will be notified for anything that drops on my channel. And that is it. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.